Hi crafters, come on in. Welcome back to Simply Charlie's, where new crafters like to hang out. Last week when we got together, we created a soap with a 4th of July theme. Remember, red, white, and blue. And so when my husband came home and I showed him what we had done, he said, that's nice, but you jump right over uh, Father's Day. And I was like, Father's Day, yeah. But I don't really have any soap ideas for men to, to speak of. Um, I do have a couple of soaps on my website, but they're just um, just white-based, you double butter soaps. And the only thing that makes them pretty is the wrapping, you know? Because it's my idea that men don't really care about the aesthetics of the soap as long as they, you know, get clean. But I went online and I started searching and I found something that I think might work. So this is what we're going to be working with today. I found this mold on Amazon and I'm hoping that you can see it's like a soccer ball, a baseball, a football, and a basketball. Let me turn it over on this side. Maybe you can see it even better. You see that? And when I got the mold in the mail, I was like, ooh, this is kind of big. I didn't realize it was as big as it is. But I think we might be able to work with it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to fill the mold all the way up to the top. And that way it won't be such a huge soap. Um, my plan is to make it like a six ounce bar. Okay. And I did this and it's like, okay, well, a guy with a r rather large hand, that'll, that'll fit pretty good. But anyway, we're going to try this. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, guys, but we're going to try it. Okay, let's get started. The tools and the supplies that we're going to need for this project today. Our handy dandy thermometer to keep up with our temperature something to measure our fragrance oil, our fragrance oil, which we're gonna to use tobacco and bay leaf. And it, it's, a very, it's a masculine smell, real, really nice. Uh, alcohol to pop the bubbles. I'm gonna be using, oh, I, you know, I forgot in the introduction to tell you, that I'm going to, I'm not going to do all four of these. I'm going to try the baseball and the basketball. And that's going to be interesting with the basketball because I don't really know how, how, how that color is going to work. But anyway, so we're going to just do those two. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to mix some red and yellow to try to come up with a deep orange for the basketball. And I haven't done a whole lot with micas, but that's the only black that I had. And I'm going to use that for the lines in the basketball. And I'll do some red for the lines in the baseball. Okay, is there any? Oh, well, and I'm going to mix my mica in this little cup with a, uh, with, with a bit of alcohol. Is there anything? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to try, and I don't know if this is going to work, guys, but we're going to try this. My, my thought is that if I try to pour, can you see that? The red in, the, uh, in these lines for the baseball, for example, that's going to be a solid mess. I just don't think I would be able to do a very good job of that. So I'm going to try to get some soap on the on this little tiny brush and try to paint it in. And again, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try, guys. Yep, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I think that's all we, we're gonna need except the soap base. And I'm gonna be using, I'm using shea butter. And I went to Hobby Lobby and there were finally some soap base on sale, but they didn't have just clear glycerin. So I'm going to be using this honey, and I'm hoping that it'll take uh, the color 
like the clear glycerin, okay? So we're gonna use those two soap base and the, the shea butter base is what I'm gonna be using for the baseball. And then for the, the red, for the seams in the baseball, I'm gonna be using some clear glycerin and I'm gonna be using some clear glycerin for the, the black lines in the uh, basketball. And then once I've done the red lines in the baseball, I'm gonna come back to this and add some yellow and hopefully I can get a shade of orange that will sort of kind of look like a baseball, I mean a basketball. Anyway, we'll see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna melt the clear glycerin, well actually not the clear glycerin, the honey soap for the black lines in the basketball, okay? I'll be back. Okay, I got the, um, the, the honey soap melted and I'm thinking now that I've done that, that maybe I should have done the, the color first, I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we, we're, we're gonna figure this out. And this little spoon came with the colorant. So, like I said, I haven't worked with this, so I don't really know how much I need to add, but I'm just going to do a little teeny amount and we'll see what happens. And the, the reason that we do the mica with the alcohol in a separate vessel is I've seen other soapers say that if you put the mica directly into the soap base without first uh, dissolving it in uh, with the alcohol, it doesn't blend very well. You know, it has little like, I don't know, looks like little crumbs in it. Okay, that's what we got. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll start with this anyway. All right, let's see. See if we need to make some more. I probably made more than I need. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, my goodness. I can see why people like working with mica. Mmm. It has like a, a shimmer to it. I hope that'll be black enough, but that is really pretty. I don't know if the camera's giving it justice. I don't know if that says basketball, but it is pretty. Uh, we're gonna try to work with it. Yeah, we'll have to see. All right, guys, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, so the basketball is right here, and I'm going to just dip. It almost feels like I need to let it get a little uh, thicker, but I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm gonna. Do, I'm just gonna do a line on camera, and then I'm gonna go off camera because this is going to take a while, and I'm sure that you guys don't want to watch this, this process. But you see what I'm doing, right? I'm just dipping the brush in the soap base, and I'm just trying to. Fill, fill in that little line that's supposed to be, um, I don't know, is that a seam in the basketball? Yep. Whoa. You got to be. And I, and I feel like if I make a mess, I can kind of clean it up after it dries. You know? Yeah. How's everybody doing today? I, you know, I, I I apologize. I think I just get up here and start talking. Yeah. So guys, can you see what I'm doing? Um, let's 
starting to get a little skin on here. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay. I just about got one line done. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is a labor of love. Right? If you're making this for your dad or your husband or, you know, just hope for somebody in your life that is a father and you want to do something special for them on Father's Day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's one line. And can you, yeah, you can see it. I don't want to, well, I can move it because, see? And I'm going to do all the other lines like that. Oh, but I'm going to go off camera and do that. And then I'll be back. All right. So I've got my basketball lines in. And that took, <clears throat> excuse me, about 15, yeah, 12 to say 15 minutes to get it done. Um, because you had to be so precise. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make my red for the <clears throat> stitching in the baseball and I'll be back. Okay, I got my honey base all melted. Let me check the temperature. We're at 153. I'm not adding any colorant to this, the stitching that I'm doing because the, uh, the I mean, not, I'm not adding any fragrance oil because the, the fragrance oil makes the soap base set up faster. So I'm just doing the color. Now I wanna come up with a, a nice, nice deep red. Let me move this out of the way. And I'll put a napkin under here so I can see what, oops, <laughs> what I'm working with. I have no idea how many drops that was, but it's not red enough. Hmm. Okay. And, and I have a lot here because this I'm going to turn in after I do the um, red stitching. I'm going to make this um, orange for the ba basketball. Yeah. Yeah, this says red, but it's not the kind of red that I want. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get a different color. Okay, let's try this red. You see, that's what happens when, when you go between, you know, different manufacturers. You don't get the same product. Okay, this is, this is, this is more red. I'm trying to get it to be a deep red because I want that to pop against that white. Now that, this is going to be interesting, trying to get that, that stitching in that baseball and trying to be careful because you, you know, I don't want that red bleeding over into the white, but hey, that's okay, guys. Let's see. Okay, a little bit more. All right, I think that's red enough. Okay. Now, I'm just going to get started on the, the stitching, and then I'm going to go off camera like I did with the, with the other one. Okay. Hmm, this almost looks, looks kind of pink. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Hmm. We shall see. Like I said, this is a labor of love. <laughs> Anybody that does this. It's fun though. 
You just never know what you're going to come up with. I think these molds were, I don't know if they were supposed to be like cake molds or muffins or, or what. But anyway, you know, anytime I see a silicone mold in a shape that I like, you know, something that I could make a soap out of, I, I go for it. Okay, so that's one of them. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera. And I'll be back. I got the stitching on the baseball done. Not gonna, not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little nervous about this. Um, I've gone ahead and I've uh, melted the the red again, and I'm gonna add some yellow to it to try to come up with an orange. Let's see. For the basketball. Let's see. I don't know, guys. We may end up with a red basketball. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know what's going on with these colors today. They're not doing what I want them to do. Because we know red and yellow are supposed to make orange, right? And it's like that red wants to stay red. See it? Well, I'll keep trying. This might be, it might be that this yellow uh, fragrance oil is not a very good one but anyway guys we're gonna go with this uh, basketball regardless if it's a red basketball or if it's an orange one okay let's see I know it's cool enough to add the fragrance yeah oh yeah I need to get that fragrance in there and this is like I said tobacco and bay leaf which is a very masculine scent Ooh. yeah mm-hmm yes it smells like a man is in the kitchen <laughs> Almost like the yellow is 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 on the sides, but it's not combining with that um, with that other color. Hmm. Uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna go off camera for a second and see if I have another yellow that I can use that might work better. Hold on. Never mind, guys. I dripped a little bit on the napkin so that I can see what the actual color is. And it is kind of an orange. So we're gonna go with this. Smells good. And we are going to pour our basketball. And I'm not gonna fill it all the way to the top because I think that would be too big. But it is gonna be a pretty good size soap. Okay. All right, let's pop those bubbles. And we'll wait on that. And the next thing we're gonna do is melt our shea butter. And that's gonna be our baseball. I'll be back. Okay, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> I forgot to spray <clears throat> the, um, the lines on the basketball. So I am really sweating this one now because it it may not stick to the um to the to the orange. Ugh. And and I'm always telling you I can't emphasize enough how important it is to spray your layers and your embeds. But anyway, we will see. All right, we're at 153. Let me add the fragrance oil. 
Oh, I am so, well, no point in getting upset, right? Stuff happens, right? Just don't, don't, don't forget to add your, um, to spray your embeds and your layers so that everything will bond together. All right, it smells good. Well, I'm not going to forget this time. Let me see. Okay. Let's see if this is too warm because I don't want it to, to melt those lines. Oh, yep, it's a little bit too warm. It's at 150. I'll be back. Guys, we are cooled down. And I'm just going to pour and hope, hope, hope for the best. Let's see. I'll go ahead and pour. Might as well pour it all. Get those bubbles out of there. All right, guys. All that's left to do now is to wait for them to set. And then we'll unmold them together. And hope for the best, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to clean up all this stuff. And uh, I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. But hey, what am I nervous about? If it's a fail, it's not because I didn't try, right? All right, guys. I'll be back. All right, crafters. We're back. And our soaps are set. I had a little bit of... Uh, the black and the orange and even a smidgen of the white left over and as i always do i put them in this uh, a mold so that i can use them in another project i'll show you what what we got or use them as um, business card embellishments okay Oh, that would be just a cute uh, embed there, right by itself. See, I didn't have much of the white left, but I got a couple of the black pieces, and it smells manly, but they're flowers, but I'll figure something out. And then I have a couple of the orange pieces. Okay. All right. Now, let's see what we got here. I'm going to take out the baseball first. Ah, okay. Looky, looky. Not bad. Yeah, I would have liked that red to, to have been more red, but, you know, for a first try, that's not too bad, huh? And it's a good size bar. Yeah. Okay. Now, this one is the one I'm ner really nervous about because I forgot to to spray the. Uh, oh man. Yeah, and some of it didn't didn't stay. It's not too too bad, but wait a minute. See that? Yeah. It's not uh that that the fact that I did not spray the uh this this stitching or the seams of the uh basketball but as you can see some of it stayed in the mold. I tell you guys I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to um, make sure that you spray between uh, layers and, and embeds, but it's, I might be able to fix it, but it's not a total fail, but we know what I did wrong, right? Okay, so I'll put the link to this mold down in the description box, okay? 
And I think that's our project for today. It wasn't perfection, but it's not a total fail. All right. We're done, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time.